Hey everyone, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the real-world highway fuel economy test of the 2020 Mazda Miata. We're going to head out on the highway, do 50 miles out, 50 miles back, averaging 70 miles per hour, filling up before and after, to get a realistic 70 miles per hour cruising highway fuel economy. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at the vehicle. This is the wonderfully pleasant Miata soft top club model. So this is kind of the sportiest, the raciest, also well priced. So if you guys want to see more on this car, hit that subscribe button. Check out our other videos, including a review of the sound system and a full review. And check out any other videos that you might be interested in. So why do we do this test? Well, the EPA fuel economy test that gives this car 34 miles per gallon on the highway only averages 48 miles per hour over the duration of the test. We feel that that's way too low and that there are plenty of people who use their cars on long road trips and would like to know how they would actually fare in a real world setting at a 70 mile per hour average. Not only that, but it's the automakers themselves that do these EPA tests most of the time. So we like to hold them accountable by kind of seeing what the cars really do in real life. So we're gonna head over to the pump here. We're gonna fill up using the same pump, both before and after. We're gonna have the climate control set. There's no auto climate control in this Miata, so we're just going to have it on one fan speed with the AC on just a little bit above high, or a little bit above medium. We're going to use 87 octane because that's all that's required for the Miata. Yes, we know that the Miata does recommend premium fuel. However, it does state in the manual that 87 octane is plenty fine. And if you were taking a long road trip, not doing anything performancey with your Miata, then you could use 87 as well and save a good amount of money. Don't worry, we'll put premium in it once we get back to the pump. Okay, before we start up the car, I'm going to turn it on, clear out the trip settings. We're going to clear our GPS, average MPG cleared, Average speed cleared as well, and we're good to go. Should also mention that tire pressures have been set to the door placard 29 PSI cold. Ambient temperature today is 55 degrees. We're gonna drive nice and easy to the highway, get started from there. As we get up to highway speed here, going to do so smoothly and safely. The goal of this test is not to hypermile, but rather to drive efficiently and effectively to see what sort of realistic fuel economy someone can expect.
up. Just wanted to turn the camera on a little early and let you hear how loud this thing is on the highway. We are cruising at 73 to 72-ish miles per hour. We can't stick right on 73 with the cruise control. And there's just a lot of wind noise. It's not really getting around that in the soft top Miata. The first few times you drive one on the highway, you find yourself looking back thinking there's a hole in the top. But that's just part of the charm of this little car. Other than that, highway comfort's surprisingly good. Not only have I done this hour and a half stint, but I also did about three hours driving back from South Haven out at Gingerman Raceway with this car. And for how small the cabin is, me being a five foot 10 driver, I'm decently comfortable in the seat, have enough legroom to kind of move things around a little bit. It's not the most uncomfortable cabin, you'd be surprised. And this isn't even the GT model, this is the club with the Recaro seats. It's kind of an Alcantara finish, the seats hug you a little bit. It's really kind of the ideal sporty Miata. But in terms of fuel economy, that's why you're here. We are averaging 39.5 miles per gallon according to the car's trip computer. That's pretty darn good considering EPA is 34. Odometer is a little bit off, saying 106.4 right now, whereas the GPS is at 107.5. No big surprises other than that. We're gonna take it nice and easy back to the gas station, fill up at the same pump using the same three-click fueling method. Take the total miles traveled, which should be 108.4, divide that by the fuel that goes into the car and get ourselves a result. Did average 70 miles per hour over the duration of the test. Like to see that. There we are, 108.4. All right, would we get 2.719 gallons? 108.4 divided by 2.719 gives us 39.9 miles per gallon, right in line with the car's computer readout of 39.5. Man, that is a good result. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not too terribly surprised considering this is a very small, lightweight car, it's aerodynamic, so it stands to reason that as it gets going faster, there's a good chance it would perform better at fuel economy, but still, it's nice to see that. 40 miles per gallon here in the, the manual Miata. Now we do know that the fuel tank size is 11.9 gallons, so if we take 11.9 times 40 miles per gallon, you can expect to go 476 miles on a tank of gas at 70 miles per hour in a Miata manual. Now, I'm not saying you'd want to go that long before you stop and stretch your legs and maybe uh, give your ears a break from the wind noise, but still cool to know you can do it. Hope you guys liked that result. If you liked the video, please hit that subscribe button, like, and all the other good stuff. Check out our other Miata content, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on. Thank you.